Now, next method we're going to use is by using our vectors. No? So, uh, we're going to plot uh, the angle of that one in my imaginary and real part uh, axis here. So, um, initially we have your x sub 1. So, I'm going to draw my x sub 1 here. So, this will be my x sub 1. So, x sub 1 for the function of time. And this makes an angle which is equal to my angular velocity times time. Okay. And for my x sub 2, so you will notice there from the problem, so given to the problem, so we have here uh, that is um, 15 cosine, where 15 is the amplitude, no? And uh, for x sub 2, for x sub 1, the amplitude is 10, and the angle is uh, angular velocity b times time. Then for uh, x sub 2, or my vector 2, so that will be uh, the angle is angular velocity times time plus 2. So we have here, uh, this means that uh, that my x of 2 leads at about of 2 degrees region. So that is region, no? Now if we're going to convert, no? So that is 2 degrees. So I'm going to write here uh, 2 degrees, uh, sorry, 2 regions. So that is 2 regions. So I'm going to multiply this one. I'm going to convert this one in degrees, so 180 degrees. Just only to identify so what location really the this one leading, no? This is a leading angle. So if you're going to use your calculator, so this one equals to uh, now this one uh, will be uh, equal to uh, that is 114. No? This is 114.59. Uh, 50, okay. Or you can round this up to uh, directly to 114.6 okay? degrees. So in terms of degrees. So means that. Uh, the angle of my uh, vector 2 is already beyond 90 degrees. So if I will go, I will draw here. No? So it is somewhere here. So this is starting from here, imaginary to the real part. So that is 90 degrees. Now, since it is 114, it is n plus the angular, uh, plus this angle. It is somewhere beyond the 90 degrees. No? So I will draw a line here just to represent on that one and take note the amplitude of my vector 2 is already 15 which is uh, much way larger compared to the amplitude of my x sub 1. Okay, so it means that the amplitude of this one is much longer. No? So I will try to uh, adjust the uh, amplitude of this one, uh, of my x sub 1. So this one will be my uh, x sub 2 function of time and this one uh, let me just let me uh, here, uh, adjust this one okay so it is somewhere here let's change this one so this is x sub 1 sorry. So this is x sub 1 function of time uh, with a given amplitude of 10 we have here 10 and the other one is 15 the amplitude huh? and this makes an angle starting from here going there okay so this angle is what we call the angle of where the angle is that will be the total angle will be uh, angular velocity times time then plus the value of 114 point and uh, this is 114.6 degrees okay so that is the angle yeah? now um, to represent the resultant of this vector so what we're going to do is I uh, will make a tip to tail 
vector uh, to get my vector resultant I will make a tip to tail arrangement of this uh, vector so again I will be drawing here the angle that one okay. now I will draw the line so starting from this one so this will be from the center here so that will be the line huh? so this is the amplitude of 50 uh, of 10 so we have here your 10 and this is my x of 1 sorry this is x of 1 function of time then I have another line so this one Okay, yeah. then this will become my x of 2 no? function of time and the amplitude is 15 now for the resultant of this uh, tip to tail so this is the origin I will draw the line that connects 1 so this will be my x okay? and my amplitude a from here, then I can draw a straight line here to represent this part. Okay. So this and also this part. Okay. Zoom in, start to sum in that one. So This is the angle of this one is angular velocity times time. So if you can see, this is already the opposite of that one. So the same, uh, the angle of this one is also the same with this one. So this is angular velocity times time. And so this one makes an angle, uh, an angle from here. So that is equal to uh, from Canina, so we have that is uh, angular velocity times 114. Okay, this one will be angular velocity plus 114.6. So, periodinantia is the same, no? Okay, so we have here angular velocity, so that is equal. Okay. So that will be 180. So, uh, so uh, let me change this one. So 180. So starting from here, going here. Okay. So that is 180 minus this one, the uh, angle uh, of my vector two. So that will be angular velocity times time plus 114.6. Okay. So big uh, sabihin what is left? Dito is yung values na ito, which is uh, 180 minus your uh, negative angular velocity minus your 114.6 so which is equal now to uh, 65.4 minus your angular velocity okay so yun yung value ng angle na dito okay then for the whole kabuuan yan start from this side and going to this side so from my x of 1 and to the x of 2 wall so that will be ang angle nyan uh, that will be 65 so eventually that is sum no 65.4 minus your angular velocity again your angular velocity nyo that we're going to add so that will be plus your angular velocity uh, that will be 65.4 times my minus your angular velocity that will be plus your angular velocity times time and this will be uh, equal to 65.4 so that is the angle ng kabuuan na ito that is 65.4 yung angle na yan so it means uh, we have already tinatawag natin na uh, so kanina use is a right triangle now this is uh, beyond uh, 
uh, more than one uh, more than 90 degrees this is already 180 degrees uh, triangle so in order to get the values of my amplitude a so i will be using a sine law here so we are going to use sine law dito so uh, i will write here the equation for my sine law so this is sine no that will be 65.4 so that will be the angle nya uh, that will be all over so this is all over no? uh, so you will notice here this is my 65.4 and my opposite is my amplitude and this is uh, already an oblique triangle which is more than 180 degrees I sorry uh, more than 90 degrees now, uh, sine law, that will be 65 point, the angle, this one, and which is, we have your A, then sine of theta B, so that will be, ito yun, okay, so I'm gonna mark this as theta B, so this will be all over, no, divided by uh, the opposite, so amplitude nya, that will be 10. And this is also equal to sine of theta c. So this is, will become my theta c. So ito yung part na yun, that will be my theta c. So this one and that one. Okay. So this is the angle. And this will be all over, no? divided by yung opposite niya, that will be 15. No? So the amplitude of this one over, ang uh, opposite niya, that will be 15. So, ang kulang na lang natin dito, what we, we don't have, we're looking for the value of A. Now, um problem is that um, we don't have the so this the value of theta b and theta c okay? so but we can use the sine law to get the value of my theta c so since this is my angle ng vector ko no so from my amplitude x of 1 okay we can use also another method of pag hindi makuha dyan, we can use cosine law sorry that one so sine law this is the sine law so i'm gonna write here this is sine this is my law of sine or sine law then we can use the cosine law. So for the cosine law, so it can be represented as the equation of your amplitude. No? So my amplitude, so that will be squared, so that will be equal to my values of the sides. So that will be, uh, so this will be uh, 10 squared. So the sides, we have 10 squared, no? uh, plus the amplitude, we have 15 squared and Okay. So that will be minus 2 times your 10 times 15. Okay. So that's the that size here times the cosine of we have the angle which is yung opposite ng amplitude mo that will be 65.4. Okay. Now I can get my amplitude so by squaring both, uh, both sides here so I have the value of uh, this is equal to 14.146 now i have already my amplitude so i can substitute dito sa equation na ito so to para makuha natin yung theta c which is that makes an angle ng vector natin resultant okay. so i can use this one so this will be sine of c no? sine of theta c so that will be equal to uh, 15 so cross multiply that would be sine of uh, 65.4 no and this is all over the value of my amplitude where my amplitude is uh, that is 14.146 then my theta c is equal now to 74 no 74.6 degrees okay so let's have then i can rewrite no for my equations that the x the function of time which is equal to a you know 
So that A cosine angular velocity times time plus my angle of alpha. So x function of time where my A, the value of A is, the amplitude is 14146. Okay. Then multiply this one by the cosine of angular velocity times time plus my angle that will be 74. 74.6 degrees. Okay. So this represents my um, using the vector to get the call this, uh, um, the value of my amplitude and and also the angle. Okay. So let's have a quick so let's have a recap overview now uh, method using the vector. So initially so I flat here that the angular velocity initially my function of time so with amplitude of 10 so with the given angular velocity times time so ito yung angle ng vector 1 ko then my vector 2 so makes an angle which is uh, 2 regions so that is equal to uh, 114.59 so, or 114.6 so it means that uh, mas malaki siya ng around uh, 2 regions or malaki siya ng around of uh, uh, sum of 114 point, uh, 114.6 so this candidates for uh, uh, if you're going to make a tip to tail arrangement of my vector so this is can, this uh, type of triangle candidates for an uh, object triangle since the angles are already beyond 108 uh, already beyond uh, 90 degrees so, so yung kanina if you're going to go back so this one is yung ginawa natin na uh, vectors or tip to tail arrangement which is uh, the triangle is only 90 degrees now in this one for the sample this is already beyond 90 degrees so already for oblique uh, this is already an oblique triangle so in order to get the values of theta here and also the thetas or the angle is we're going to use is either the sine law or the cosine law no so again, I make here a tip to tail arrangement no, no aking vector. So this is my vector, which is my resultant A, uh, resultant vector. Then um, you will notice here the angular velocity. So yung opposite niya is the same din dito. Then this one makes an angle, which is katul din nito. I just only replicate it in this one in order to have a tip to tail arrangement. And so we have 65, uh, so 180, since 180 is so starting from uh, this one, zero going there, uh, that is 180 degrees. So minus the angular velocity times time plus the 114.6. No? Then finally, we minus natin siya doon sa values of your angular velocity times time. So we have the angle of here, so this makes an angle of 65.4. Now again, uh, we'll be using sine law and cosine law. So sine law, in order to get the value of theta c, so this one, so this one makes the angle of my vector, no, resultant vector. And so, hindi agad natin siya makuha because of some unknowns where your theta b and theta c are po, uh, unknown. So that's why uh, I use the cosine law. So this one is a cosine law. Well, so again, substituting that one, so it will be a squared, 10 squared, so that will be the sides, of two both sides of the triangle, so plus then two times the value of 10 times 15, so the sides also, and the cosine, which is mixed, that's the angle, which is opposite to the um, uh, amplitude. Now we arrive at uh, 14.146, no? Then substituting that one to the, uh, since my runtime value to substitute it to the equation, so we are merely concerned with the theta c so we we'll use this equation now by means of cross multiplication so we arrive on these solutions so finally uh, we have the theta c which is 74.6 now um x the function of time okay so vectorally represented so it can be uh, from the last uh, lecture so it is represented as a cosine angular velocity times time plus the angle ng vector natin. Then, substitute natin na values. We have your A and the cosine, angular velocity plus yung vector. So, that will be 74.6. So, this finally represents our uh, 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 
vector representations of my solutions for my uh, uh, for this uh, vector additions uh, using the vector. So we have here the equation. 